Arriving at APL this past summer to participate in an on-site field study with the Modular Prosthetic Limb, MPL, Les Ba and his girlfriend were excited about the possibilities. Accompanying them is Dr. Albert Chi, who, as part of the interdisciplinary team from the Johns Hopkins Hospital, performed the targeted re surgery necessary for today's visit. I went into the surgery knowing that he was going to move nerves in my chest. I remember when I first came out from under it, I, the pain I, I'd never had. I don't even remember the original being that much excruciating pain, but I imagine part of that my mind blocked out anyway. Les had lost both limbs in a freak electrical accident over 40 years ago and is excited to become the first shoulder-level amputee to have the MPL fully and wirelessly integrated into his body. Get started with really intensive training with our pattern recognition system. And what the pattern recognition system is a advanced algorithm that really looks at high density electrode arrays on the chest muscles, which we've re innervated, that looks at the almost signature symphony of muscle activity information. And we take that information and translate that to actual movements within a prosthetic. Let's go ahead and see what we have. On this day, Les is being fitted for his socket which is sort of a body brace that makes the neural connections with the re-innervated nerves, as well as supports the prosthetic limbs. The first cast they did on me for the test socket was all done with electronics. They took like a, I don't know, like a scanner, and just started walking around my body, and they just painted it on the screen, and boom, they sent it off, and I get out here and it fits. This guy says, no, so I can't feel every little dimple and divot that I want to feel. He says, I want to do it with plaster. And this old school is working out so much better than the modern. <laughs> While the socket got its finishing touches, the team took the next step and had less work with the virtual reality system that mimics the actual prosthetic arms. Relax. Let's do some elbow, elbow up. Good. Relax. A couple days later, the socket was back and the arms were attached. Les and the team were about to make history. Once the training sessions were complete and they released me and let me be the computer, basically, to control that arm, I just go into a whole different world. I think we're just getting started at this point. It's like the early days of the internet. There's just a tremendous amount of potential ahead of us and, and we just started down this road. And I think the next five, ten years are going to bring some really phenomenal advancements. Other milestones reached by the team were, this was the first time the MPLs were operated by a shoulder-level amputee at the full three degrees of freedom and with over 30 total degrees of motion on both sides with complete intuitive thought-based control. He has access to all of the different degrees of motion, shoulder, elbow, wrist, hand, but he still needs to select which one he wants to use. So he needs to position the shoulder, then the elbow, then the wrist, then the hand separately and rest in between. Maybe I'll be able to, for once, be able to put change in a pop machine and get the pop out of it. Simple things like that that most people never think of. And, it, and it's re-available to me. Okay, We'd really like to be able to do is send him home with a couple of limbs so that you know, he can use them in his everyday life. And what this has showed us is that that's really possible. All of us 